Chester and Colonial Heights residents are on edge after a driver is shot at in broad daylight. No one was hurt, but stories are circulating on social me media nearly two months later. 8 News reporter Olivia Jakewood joins us in Chesterfield. She brings us the latest update from authorities there. Yeah, well, a post making the rounds online actually referenced an automatic weapon that would have been used in the shooting. And although police say that does match up with what the victim reported, they have not confirmed exactly what kind of gun was used. Shots fired into the back of this car. We rolled up on a disaster. Chesterfield police are investigating after a driver was reportedly shot at just after crossing these train tracks in March. It happened the afternoon of the 27th when a black sedan suddenly sped up and got in front of the car before stopping in the road. They come out with what looked to me like was a snub nose shotgun. They all just continued to, you know, go to the silver car behind them, which was the elderly gentleman, and. Uh, Hitting, hollering, beating on the car. Timothy McAvoy was driving past the scene on Branders Bridge Road as it unfolded and later got in touch with the man whose car was shot at. This video shows the area where it went down. I was so bad, wanted to get out and help, but I couldn't put my family at jeopardy. You could hear the, the fear in his voice, and you know, he even stated, he said, I'll never go back down that road again. You know, I'll go, I'll go down Route 1 and hit every red light I have to. And in my mind, he shouldn't have to do that. And nobody should have to live in fear for their life. Police say they're investigating and have recovered evidence that there was a shooting. But at this point, they don't have any leads. It'd be nice if other people would come forward and, you know, report what they see when they see it. And maybe the world would be a little safer place. Now, I'm told this was an isolated incident, and police believe there is no threat to the general public. However, they have stepped up patrols in the area and tell me they're on the lookout for two female suspects and one male suspect, all believed to be in their late teens or early 20s. Anyone with information is urged to contact police. For now, reporting in Chesterfield County, Olivia Jakewith, 8 News.